So I do apologize, my camera cut off because my alarm actually went off and I was up before my alarm went off. So like I said, this would be a total skip for me if they end up doing another collection like this. Let's go ahead and grab some sorts here. This was the first melt of March for me. This was Goose Creek Love Letters. This was gorgeous. Um, I don't know if I have this in the candle. I want to say that I do. I definitely think I would enjoy it. Beautiful, sweet floral scent. I definitely wouldn't say that it's like a white floral, but it's not like a rosy floral. It's very girly, very feminine, super pretty smelling. Let's go ahead and get, I think, the last destination candle. Yeah last destination candle out. This was the one that smelled the best and I think this one actually performed the best and there's that other Yankee candle melt that I used. This is Garden of the Gods Colorado Cedar Leaf and Wood Smoke. Just based on the name I did not think that this would be like a hit for me. This was the one that I enjoyed the most out of the collection. They all had fair throw for the most part. This one was really, really strong, good burning. This is what a candle should be. And I know that quality control, especially when you're rolling out all these limited edition candles can sometimes be tough, but the quality on this collection sucked. But this one was a good performer. So lots of Huntington Home candles, if you guys can see. That's mainly what I buy because of how cheap they are. As you guys can tell, this was one of my bad burners. Oh, this one was awful. So this was Huntington Home White Almond. The wicks kept drowning on this one. It literally smelled exactly like cherry almond. Um, really good throw to it. Just really bad performance. Like, see, you can see those wicks are small. I had to keep pouring it out. It was a real struggle, and I was just over it. I'm like $3.99 gotta be done gotta be over it and just move on let's grab this little guy back here this is a huntington home and this was like the three-piece mini candles they were 4.99 i think for three you don't get a lot of wax in them they don't burn very far down i would definitely recommend these for like a bathroom or bathtub area they're cute and they're little, or if you just want to burn something small at your desk, they're super cute. This one had a good throw to it, but like I said, they don't last long. I think like a day and a half is all I got out of this, but it's not bad because you do get three for $4.99. The tins are super cute if you want to repurpose them. We are in the process of moving. You guys are probably like tired of hearing that, but we're still in the renovation phase. So we have not moved yet. I have stuff packed and that kind of stuff. So unfortunately, I'm not going to hang on to this tin. I am going to go ahead and get rid of it because I just don't need more stuff right now. <laughs> like, I don't need more candles. I don't need more anything right now. Like, this month, I probably did buy over 20 candles. Between that Mother's Day collection that came out and the Summer Scents, I do still have to get my Summer Scents video up. So another Aldi Huntington Home. This is Lavender Mascarpone. This is a pretty lilac color. This one was a good burner. I did not have to pour anything out on this. Really nice, sweet lavender scent. This paired very well with the Honey Lavender Gelato from Yankee. That's why I actually melted those. It's because I knew that it would pair really well with this scent. You guys, like, look at this. This is all, like, pretty much sitting in my lap. I'm sitting up in my bed, and this is all sitting on my lap. And I got more to the side, and I got a little sleeping dachshund. So I got more candles there. And we have a little sleeping dachshund. That's my old man. He's going to be 14 here soon. 14 in June. Or is he going to be 15? No, oh, I think he's going to be 15. He's going to be 15, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't even keep up with my own age. I told my husband, I'm like, I want to buy a Louis Vuitton for my 35th birthday. He's like, well, good thing you got like two and a half years. I'm like, what? I thought I was going to be 35 next year. <laughs> okay, so Huntington Home Lemon, Thyme, and Sage. This one 
I think this one burned relatively well. I can't remember because I had a lot that did not burn well. Um, this is just sweet herbs, I guess you would say. Um, not very memorable. Not really my type of candle. Like I said, a lot of times if it's something I don't like, I still pick it up because I like to review it for you guys. Oh gosh. Here we go. We know this one was a bad burner. This is Huntington Home Agave Citrus. This smelled exactly like Pez candy. So I love that this scent. Awful burner. Wicks kept flooding. I had to keep pouring wax and then I had to be like, you know what? $3.99. I'm over it. Time to just let it go and say goodbye. So we moved on from that one. Let's go ahead and grab something a little bit different here just to spice it up a bit. So we have here Yankee Candle Beautiful Blooms. I went ahead and I put this in my burn basket because it was starting to change color. So I was worried about the formulation. Nothing was wrong with the formulation. This one did have good throw. This was not meant to be like a strong throwing scent. And it wasn't quite medium throw. It was definitely on the lower side. But I had this in my bedroom, which was a smaller room. So it did perform very well. Just one of those sweet, girly, feminine, floral scents. I enjoyed it. If I came across it cheap, I would definitely pick it up again. I think I got this when, like, Yankee Candle was having their, like, 60% off sale up at the outlet. And I paid, like, $8 a jar. So, really good price on those. Let's go ahead and grab this one. This is from Goose Creek. This is Lush Getaway. I got a crazy deal on these. There was like a glitch on their website where they marked these down to like $3.50 and I grabbed 10 of them. So I have a lot of them in my collection. This is more of a tropical, sweet, fruity, floral. Let me go ahead and pop the lid off. See if I can give you guys a better description of what it's comparable to. I really can't smell anything because it like burned all the way down. If they made this in a perfume, I would totally wear it. I feel like there's notes of coconut in there and I'm not even like a coconut person. But it is like a really sweet, fruity fragrance. Oh gosh, I wish they made that in perfume. I think they make it in lotion, but I don't need any more body care. Once I get moved into the house, I'm getting, I'm going to hopefully do a body care collection for you guys, but I'm very overwhelmed because I have a lot. I need to do a candle collection. I need to do an updated perfume collection. I need to do a body care collection. So here is another one of the bad burning candles. See what I mean? I had to pour this out so many times. This looks like a kindergartner's art project. It really does. It looks awful. This is a lemon and sage really nice citrus herb blend on this one. The lemon was a standout. The sage just kind of hung out in the background, which was good. I was worried about the sage being overwhelming, but it wasn't. Scent-wise, it was beautiful. Performance-wise, terrible. Terrible. Two candles left, and I don't think we have any more melts. No, no more melts. Okay, so this one was a good burner. This one I did not have to pour out. I don't recall pouring this one out. This is Sunflowers and Daisies. Really nice floral. Definitely kind of lended itself more to the daisy side of things with the white floral. I wouldn't say that I really got any sunflower fragrance in there. Very crisp, clean floral. Perfect for springtime. This was a gorgeous scent. Burned really, really well. And then last but not least, one of my favorite Yankee candles. When I saw this in the outlet, I bought all of them. And I do see I do have a wax melt that I missed. I bought all of them. I didn't care that they were like 10 bucks each. I think I had an extra coupon, luckily, and I got them for eight. Tutti Fruity, this smells like a kid obnoxiously spilled Hawaiian punch all over your house. Now, I will say when I initially bought my first Tutti Fruity candle, probably five or six years ago, it was super strong. I feel like they've changed formulation. They're not as strong, but I did get about a medium throw out of this one. I did keep hitting like fragrance pockets where it would be super strong and then it would dissipate. So if you guys made it this far, definitely thank you for watching because I know this was like a 20 minute video. 
Our last fragrance is Scentsy Apple Crush. And this was like an apple Jolly Rancher. Very kid-like, candy-like. I like this. This was a really sweet, fake, sweet, fake apple scent smell. Not like a traditional apple. Um, Definitely unique in its own sense. I would definitely pick that up again. So let's go ahead and count because I think it was 20 candles. We have four there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't even know where to put all these. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So yes, 20 candles this month. Like I said, if you made it this far and you watched all of this, I definitely appreciated it because this was like the mother load of candles that I used up this month. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.